We've been uh, hearing a lot lately about when a COVID-19 vaccine could be available, but with so many unknowns, misinformation surrounding a highly sought solution for coronavirus could start circulating soon. Local 5's Elias Johnson joins us with how Facebook is preparing to take down false claims. We do know several promising vaccines for COVID-19 are in the final stages of clinical trials and with the majority of Americans ready to take a shot when something is determined safe and effective, prepare yourself for numerous posts on social media for the next two months about vaccines. Mark Zuckerberg is claiming Facebook already getting plenty of practice separating fact from fiction. We work with the CDC and we work with the WHO and trusted health organizations to remove clear misinformation about um, health related issues that could cause to that could cause an imminent risk of harm. Um, you know, all the challenging questions about anti vax and, and frankly, a lot of misinformation come from cases where there there has been some instance of harm but that people are kind of blowing it out of proportion or saying it's more prevalent or common than it actually is. So, you know, is it true that sometimes vaccines get mixed incorrectly by a doctor and that causes harm? Um, or is it true that, that even when a vaccine is helpful um, for addressing something overall, um, that it may not always be 100% effective? Yes, those two things are, are, are true statements. Um, but does that imply that you shouldn't go get a vaccine um, in general, not Zuckerberg talking in an expanded conversation with HBO about what they'll do regarding posts about vaccines and politics. Local five is on your side with a few things to consider before you post or share on social media. Number one, this is huge. Know the difference between misinformation and disinformation. While both are false, misinformation is shared regardless of intent to mislead, while disinformation is shared deliberately. Number two, try to take emotion away from your decision to repost or share. Fear is one of the main drivers of misinformation being shared and circulated. Number three, verify the source. Look at the web extension. Oftentimes, incorrect articles will look like they came from a credible news agency and read the article. Don't just share after seeing a headline. Next, cross check the information. Look around the internet, other places to see if there are supporting documents or claims to back up what's being shared. Finally, if you find misinformation, correct it using credible sources to back up what you found. This is not about winning a fight online. It's about making sure we share accurate information at a critical time for our health and well-being. In studio, Elias Johnson, Local 5 News, We Are Iowa.